So I love acting because you can impersonate and take the persona of anyone and anything that you need to be. You can act outside of the box pretty much. I like acting because it's one way that you can get up in, a, in front of a bunch of people and you could be pretty much anyone you want. You don't have to be yourself and you can act crazy, you can act funny, you can act sad and it's all just for fun. Not one hour written. Why, if I could write it in my will, every fool who walked around with Merry Christmas on his lips would be buried with a stick of holly through his own heart and boiled in their own foot. Oh, that's really quite disgusting. But come down with us anyway. Um, yes, I like acting. I mean, a lot of my friends do it, and uh, I mean, it's just something to do. It takes you away from like, like if you're worried about something, you just get to pretend that you're somebody else. Acting because it sort of helps with my confidence. Like, it's sort of weird to say, but when you're on stage, you can be anybody and you're sort of portraying a different character and you know that you have the ability to be that person and it sort of brings out the confidence in you to like step out of your comfort zone. Oh, I quite enjoy acting. It's fun because you get to do ridiculous things or not so ridiculous things, but you always get to tell a story, and telling a story is great. Um, you get to engage the audience and tell them, uh, paint a picture in their mind of something that they hadn't seen before, something new and exciting, um, and entertain them, hopefully. Every man on that transport died, George, because he wasn't there to save them. Because you weren't there. Well, I have multiple parts. I'm a Christmas tree, I'm an old man, I'm a ghost, and I have tons of other little tiny parts. And I light up at one point too. I am many parts. I am a narrator. I am a dog that gets abused. I am Fred in a Christmas Carol, and I am Mr. Gower. I am a host of parts, including Yukon Cornelius from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, The Grinch from The Grinch, and a announcer from Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, as well as Clarence Oddbody, and the angel from A Wonderful Life. This coming down old Broadway? Why? Sponsored by Halliburton Corporation. It's an open contract. It's Katy Perry, high atop the first float of the day. Here she comes in a nice castle, made entirely of ice. And I must say, her rather large belly appears in Scott's Scots. I am <laughs> Jim, and I am Scrooge. And there's old Fessy Wig himself. My God, it's Fessy Wig alive again. It's Mr. Gower, George, and you're late for work in my pharmacy. <coughs> I'm so distraught over this telegram about my son that I might have a mishap and put the stuff, the label poison, into the pills. And you know, if you don't stop me, it might be dangerous. It's funny how one man's life can change so many others, George. Well, I am Michael, and I also have, I think I'm sort of like a narrator in act two. It's sort of weird because the play was meant for three people, and we made it into 10. I think this play will turn out great. We have a lot of new kids, so I think it's going to be tough for them. But I think it's a good learning experience, especially that it's a comedy because no one knows what you're going to do wrong or if you do it right. So they have a chance of making a mistake and working it out. Okay, Cody, have an Eotard, Aaron Welk guy. I think this play will turn out well because we've been all working very hard on it and having practice at least three times a week. I think we'll do well. He turned around fast and he saw a small poo. Little Cindy Lou Poo, who is no more. Most of us have like our lines down by now, and the ones who have like more lines almost have it down. 
So I think that like as long as we can get the uh, scenes down, like the acting part of it down, hey, we'll, you gotta we'll help be fine. Me. I need eight thousand dollars. Why? I'm just a simple man of business. I feel this play is going to be um, ridiculous in a good way. Um, I think it's going to make the audience laugh and cry because it's such an awful interpretation of their classics, but then laugh again because they realize we're just making fun of them. Um, I think that everyone's just going to have a good time. Uh, anyone who comes to see it is going to laugh and smile and not um, not feel bad about themselves for coming to this play. And you're, you're, you're probably just here to tell me that after we die, that after you died, mankind became your business and that we all were the chains that we forged in life. No, no, uh, actually, I could go for a little flaming rum right now. Heavy on the cinnamon, a light on the cloves. You know what? Jacob! Joseph! <laughs> well, our green room is really special, like, because we sign all over it. We have our signatures all over the entire place. Well, it's underneath the stage. It's where we go and sit when we're not on stage. And it's got some chairs. And um, in our particular green room, all the walls are written on with the signatures of everybody who's been in every play that this um, that has been put on at this stage. And that's kind of special. During the flood, we lost part of it. So it's sort of like we lost a piece of ourselves. But our director and producer helped keep that alive by taking pictures of the walls and we we have a booklet with all the um, signatures from everyone in the past place. And uh, over the summer there was this uh, Hurricane Irene that came in and it kind of ruined that, um, destroyed all the walls and everything. Um, they had to be painted over but you can still see most of the names and that's pretty cool the way it uh, it's endearing, it won't go away. So it's sort of like our safe haven where we stay during the show if you don't have anything to do and we all go down there and like get a pep talk before the show, and it's just like our place. I have been involved in, well, I was a techie at Otter Valley for my seventh and eighth grade year. <laughs> and um, then I acted in, the la in my freshman years, both of the plays at MSJ, and I am now in this play. So that's three. I've been doing plays since I was in fourth, no, third grade. <laughs> So I decided to continue on. Since I was in eighth grade, I always looked up to the high school kids, and I decided to see what else I could do besides basketball. I've been in play since fourth grade, so I think I counted, and this is my 13th play. And when I was in eighth grade, I was in a play here at MSJ. This is my sixth play at MSJ, I think. So yeah. I've been involved with drama since I think I was mm, seven. I uh, auditioned for the um, the best Christmas pageant ever, which is put on down at the um, youth theater here in town. And uh, they did the same one every year, and I was in that a couple of times. And then I went on to do it at my school, which they allow you in at fourth, uh, fourth grade because they don't like the annoying little kids running around, which is quite understandable. Then um, I went on to do it uh, all through school, and. Um, now I'm in high school. I started here when I was in eighth grade, actually. Uh, I was a younger brother in the play uh, Counting on Grace, based off a Dorothy Canfield Fisher book. And then since then, I've been in every play here um, while I was at, in Merchants, this school, poppers, high school. Murderers, scholars. Wait a second. St. Nicholas is the patron saint of murderers. Sure. And thieves, and pawnbrokers, and fakers. I have a pretty big schedule, it's really busy, I mean, I'm big into sports and I have a horse and my personal life sometimes, if we're doing a certain play that affects me in a certain way, like last year we did eating disorders and whatnot, I know a couple people that have gone through it, so it's hard, but it makes you a better person and a better character. Everything interferes with drama club. I have homework and sports, like cheerleading and homework <laughs> and pretty much anything, just Having a normal day where I can go home, eat dinner, and come here is pretty good. As hectic as that sounds. Unless I have like a surprise meeting or something. I don't play any winter sports, so usually I can just focus on the play. The thing really interferes with it. Um, Mrs. Bagley, our director and our producer now, and um, Mrs. Ardette, our director, they 
structure our practices um, around the rest of the goings-on around school so that everyone can take part in it no matter who they are, no matter what they're taking part in. I mean, I play football and they schedule the practice, uh, the rehearsals so that they're after our football practices so even okay, football players can make it. Maka. Sister, I'm standing next to the Wolf Blitzer for holidays. Well, that's Hawaii's way of saying, um, I think my so favorite part is the, the quiz show, which is, it's basically like I'm the MC and I ask a bunch of questions, but it's sort of like comedic and we take people from the audience and it's really a good way to incorporate everyone that's there. My favorite scene in the play is probably the um, the uh, the end of the second act because that just allows for everybody to be on stage. I mean, all, everybody's job in the play is important. I mean, even from the small from the smallest amount of lines to the largest amount of lines, we all have a purpose that we need to serve. It's just good that everybody gets credit for it. I would probably have to say it's in between the one where Jessica and I, where I'm wearing the braids. My personal favorite scene is probably the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day Parade because we make so many references to pop culture now and um, I like that we can form all these ideas in your head because we don't do too much actual acting in that scene. It's all about forming it in your head through the way we react to what's going on and I like that sort of Um, out of the box thinking in a play and I think it's it's interesting the way that goes on and I also think all the pop culture tie-ins tie uh, make it funny and relatable. I always get kind of stressed around the holidays. Yeah. I would change the costume because this is very big on me. I think it should be a lot smaller. Okay. But I like the color scheme. It's very Christmassy. I would make it so that there's more comical parts, and if I could change something about my acting, I would make it so I could keep a straight face when I have to be an old man and I have to get flown up a wheelchair pretty much up the stage. It was written for three. The play was written for three guys. There's like some dirty humor in it, but um, I really think that that's what makes it funny. And some of it, since we're a high school play, has been taken out. But this sort of sounds weird, but I think it actually like adds to it. We take Abby Harvey out of it. Well, about my acting, I think I'd want to remember my lines better because I'm very bad at that. Um, something about the play, I think I'd add, um, I think I'd add uh, all of the other reindeer. You ever seen that one? It's, uh, I think it's got Drew Barrymore in it. It's about a dog who saves Christmas. It's, it's really good. Uh, you should check it out. Della, you hot a bunch. Kiss me. I don't know if I take it too seriously. I mean, it's it's all for fun, and um, unless they pay me, which they don't, so it's all for fun. And uh, I um, I don't know. I mean, I can take it seriously if we're doing a serious play, um, like we did last spring. Uh, we did a play about eating disorders, and that was extremely serious. And I had to take it seriously, or I'd laugh through the whole thing, and that would be extremely disrespectful. So instead, um, now I don't have to take it seriously at all because it's a comedy, which is not taking anything seriously. Depends on the part. If it's supposed to be a comedy, then I'm going to go far and beyond. If it has to be serious, then I'm going to do the best I can to be serious. We can uh, divvy them up and use them throughout the evening. This is going to be the only Christmas production, to my understanding, in Rutland. So I think everyone should go see this play. I suggest that everyone comes to this play. I mean, it's, um, well, I mean, even if you don't even celebrate Christmas, um, if you do some other holiday like, I don't know, Kwanzaa or Hanukkah, I mean, you still understand Christmas. I'm sure you watch the Christmas specials because they're quite entertaining. And um, this just is a takeoff on that, and it's hilarious. I mean, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I am just an incredibly hilarious person, and you get to watch me be hilarious, along with some other people being hilarious, but not so much as me. That's reason enough to uh, come and see this. I think drama helps my charismatic skills, 
and my people skills, my talking skills. I'm able to get up on a stage and not even flinch when a bunch of people are watching me. I mean, um, if I went on to be a public speaker, I'd be able to do that. If I was going to be a politician or a teacher, I'd be able to stand up in front of a crowd and be able to handle that without, um, without the stress of stage fright or some other such stress. Well, if I pursue my acting career, what well, I don't know about that, but I mean, there's always a possibility for something good to happen, like catch a lucky break or something, but it's not really a very good chance. I know that it will look good on college applications, which is a great thing, and I want to continue my education with acting, but I mainly want to be a psychologist, but I know that being an actress will allow me to show other people other emotion that I might be hiding, Merry such Christmas as acting to does. You, Jacob Marley. And Merry Christmas to you, old building and loan. Merry Christmas, Red. Merry Christmas, Uncle. Merry Christmas, Harry. And a toast to my brother George, the richest man in town. Merry Christmas, Bob. I'm going to quadruple your salary. That'll really help with the 892 little um, I would tell you what the play is about, but then I'd have to kill you. It would ruin the surprise for everyone. Uh, it's it's about Christmas, and and me. The play is all about me, and not Abby Harvey. I quite enjoy acting. It is quite a wonderful experience, and I quite enjoy taking part in it. So, when I heard that we were doing another con comedy this year, which are the most fun to do. I was excited to jump on that opportunity and act in this play.